The nation's largest three-day rodeo, the Red Bluff Roundup, kicks off its 102nd year this week. And if there ever was a local rodeo icon, it's John Growney, a stock contractor. But, John, your family has been involved and it even helped start this rodeo, right? My right? great-grandfather, John O'Connor, was a charter member of the Red Bluff Roundup in 1921 or 22. I'm not sure what their, yeah. their oh dates were. And so we're pretty proud of that. And then I'm named after him also. So, <laughs> uh, And then uh, this John Treed, who is the president of the Roundup mm -hmm. now, his great-grandfather was a bar owner. And, but they, and my great-grandfather was a bricklayer and a brickmaker. And so built the buildings in Red Bluff and stuff. But they just knew that Red Bluff needed something special. And so they got a lot of the ranchers together and they, they created this the up. Red Bluff Roundup. 102 years later, this is a, a wonderful rodeo. The whole community is involved all week long. Um, of course, you know, the slack competition started today, right? right? Kind of the preliminary yes. timed events. And uh, then the main show Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what do you? Th what is it about the Red Bluff Rodeo you think that makes it I, so you know, popular? I, I, you know, and I, I, we do a lot of rodeos in a lot of places, but it, it seems to, you know, to start with, it's a way of life in the past, mm -hmm. and it brings back the past a little bit. But you're seeing more and more kids come back home. It's like a homecoming, and, and so uh, I've been told, and I really believe this too, because it's happening at my house. A lot of people are sleeping on the floors, you know, because there's <laughs> right. not enough room and space for everybody. But it's it's homecoming, and you'll see the rodeo will be going on. But pretty soon, a lot of people are gathering at the beer bar or yeah, something like that. Yeah. And it's just socializing kind of and getting to see reunion. each other and haven't seen for a year or a couple of years or whatever. And the stock's always top quality. You always have top, you know, right. top price money, and that draws in the best of the, yes. the cowboys and, and cow girls yes. or cow women yes. i'm not sure what the cow proper girls. you know out hey, that's there that's what we call it. yeah and and there's a parade and a pancake breakfast right. and, and it a, started last week know. actually they had a chili cook off they had a, right. a car show and then they've had music playing downtown and little things going on in town and so uh and then we'll have another parade this week and uh it, it's just it's fun and that's what I think people are looking for, and it's a great time of the year. Everybody's been locked in all winter long, and now all of a sudden, here's spring. And there isn't any valley that I know of than the Sacramento Valley uh, that is any prettier than it is right now. So absolutely, a great gorgeous. time to have the rodeo. And the weather is going to be great this year. No excuse not to no. get your tickets. And yeah. if you want to insure a seat, you know you probably want right. to buy them ahead of time. Right. right. I heard Saturday's almost all gone, and then. Uh, Friday night or, and Sunday, uh -huh. they're still available, and, okay. and uh, it, it seats a lot of people, so <laughs> they'll be all right. We can pack a lot of people into the rodeo arena, all happening at the Tehama District Fairgrounds in Red Bluff, Friday, Saturday, Sunday night, and we do have a link to where you can get your rodeo tickets and get the whole schedule yourself. Just head to Action News Now and kick on, uh, click on, I should say, news links. John, thanks so much for being with us. And uh, we appreciate, we appreciate the Channel 12 and everybody that you guys are so